and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to show you how to get rid of nested ifs and replace them with this new function called ifs. So for many years people have been creating nested ifs where it's an if within an if and I recently did a video on mastering if formulas which included this. But for those of you who have moved over to Office 365 and have the, the most up-to-date version, you'll notice that this now has this ifs formula. So I'm going to show you how to use that to replace a nested if. So I'm going to start with equals ifs open bracket. So I'm going to press the fx button to get the argument box. So you'll see with the ifs formula, we have a logical test and a value. So if I get it to look at the score, and what I'm going to say is the score's got to be greater than 85, which means they would get an A. Now, previously with an if, I would have had to put another if in instead of a value if false. But now it moves me straight on to the second question. So I'm going to say again that this cell has to be greater than, in this time it's going to be 75, and they will get a B. And we just keep moving along, putting our logical tests in. So I'm going to do my next one, it's got to be above 60. They will get a C, and then that value has to be greater than 49 and they get a D. Now at this point I could put one more logical test in, I could put in that it's got to be um, less than or equal to 49 to get an E, but a way to end this without having to ask another complex question is to simply put the word true in as your logical test and then put the value that you want that to be. So in essence it's like what we used to do with the nested ifs where when we get to the end it could only be this item so it's true at this point it must be an E. So if I now press OK you'll see I get the same score and if I copy it down I get the same score for everybody. Now, one of the big advantages to the ifs over a nested if is, at the time of writing this, the maximum number of nested ifs you could do is 64, whereas the number of logical tests that you can do in an ifs formula is 127. So it's nearly double what an if can do. Okay, guys, if you found that useful, can you give me a thumbs up? And if you uh, want to see more videos from me, please remember to press subscribe and the notification bell because I plan to do two videos a week on various topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.